Hey guys, just thought I'd bring you a kind of a quick video today on what's going on behind me. And we're starting right now. What's going on guys? My name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, homesteading, and videos just like this one, start now by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Alright guys, so today we are talking about what is going on behind me. You can see over my shoulders here and here. There's a lot of crazy growth here. We're talking about a plant that I'm growing this year in a couple of different spots um, it is Mexican sour gherkins or some people call them Mexican mouse melons some people call them cucumelons uh, they go by a lot of different names but the basic idea guys is they really kind of look like a little miniature watermelon I know it's crazy but that's really what they look like I'll put a picture in right here but so the, that's what these are that are growing behind me and so as you can tell and it pan you around a little bit you can see that they are growing and they're growing and they're <laughs> and they're growing okay so they are doing fairly well here uh, i did plant these here on purpose this is the little simple diy trellis uh, you can definitely check that video out right here uh, real super simple uh, DIY trellis that you can make for just literally maybe like 20 bucks if that uh, I had some of the stuff on hand, but you can like I said check out the video, but they're growing here and they're doing really well So it, And they're I mean they're everywhere so um, but yeah, so they are even though they look like a little mini watermelon and they they're Mexican sour gherkins, cucumelons, mouse melons, whatever you want to call them. They're really just a cucumber. So there are cucumber guys that have really kind of an interesting flavor. They, you know, they have the crisp kind of taste of a cucumber, but they also have just a little bit of a lemony flavor, a little lemony undertone that just makes them quite refreshing. So I have grown them before guys, but in the past I haven't had a lot of success with the vines really growing that great. Um, and so this year I've planted them here in containers um, these are actually doing really well the vines are doing really well but I've run into sort of a problem the problem we got is guys that you know even though the vines are growing crazy I'm not getting a lot of fruit now there could be a couple of issues with that you know so we got to take a look at it and try to see because I mean it's an awesome vine system and I should be getting hundreds possibly even thousands of fruits from these guys take a close let's take a closer look all right guys so you, as you can tell you can see that the vines are doing fairly well they're coming from these three I have three containers right here and they're growing up this little wire fence or this wire trellis and they're doing fairly well and they're branching out and they're just spreading uh, you can even see some on the back of the trellis. But the problem, guys, is you, you don't see any fruit. Let's see right there. There's a little fruit. So I'm not real sure. And so there's fruit on them. And you can, I mean, there's little fruits all throughout the vines like that. Little flowers, little fruits all throughout here. But they're not developing. They're not developing like they should. Okay, so guys, we're back and, you know, I'm just not sure what's going on with them. So if you've grown these before and you have had this issue or maybe... Uh, you can share with me what you've done in the past to kind of correct these issues. So that's it, guys. I thought I would give you a little look at one of the things growing in my garden and doing quite well. Um, at least it looks like it's doing quite well. 
So if you have any comments or suggestions, pop those in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and guys, if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, homesteading, or other videos like this one, start now by clicking the round subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.